Washing your hair is one of those things that we might know how to do, but most of the time we still make mistakes that it can cause terrible hair damage. So this video will show you the hair washing mistakes, how to fix them so that you know how to wash your hair properly. Drop a like if you like this video and let's begin. Alright, it is time to wash our hair and the first hair washing mistake that I've seen a lot is skipping oiling your hair before washing it. The reason oiling before washing your hair is so beneficial is related to the fact that oiling will act as a protective barrier between your hair and shampoo, reducing the stripping effect and will also reduce the amount of water your hair soaks during the washing time which can lead to hydro fatigue, greasiness, dryness. So in terms of what oils to use as a pre-wash coconut oil is one of the best options because it reduces the protein loss in your hair while you shampoo also avocado oil is fantastic and it works really well for fine hair so all I do is to apply a few drops of this oil massage for a little bit on your strands and then you're ready to hop in the shower now there is another hair wash mistake that it will completely ruin your hair which is washing your hair with hot water. The right temperature of water for your hair wash is lukewarm because warm water softens the skin on your scalp and it opens up your hair cuticles which is what we need in order to clean and release dirt from your hair and scalp. With this being said, there's another hair washing mistake that I see a lot, which is not wetting your hair throughout before shampooing. You're probably wondering what's wrong with that, but in order for your hair cuticles to open up for a deep clean, you need to allow your hair and scalp to soak in warm water for a full minute to ensure every strand is soaking wet. If you have low porosity hair, run your fingers through to make sure that your whole hair is drenched completely. The next hair washing mistake is removing the water out of your hair to proceed to shampoo. Shampoo needs water to lather better. Doing this would only cause you to overuse shampoo. The proper way to do this is by literally leaving your hair soaking wet as it is and then proceed to shampoo right away. In terms of what kind of shampoo to use, I'll recommend you a sulfate paraben free shampoo which is gentle on the hair and if you wash your hair with hard water, use a clay clarifying shampoo once a week to remove buildup. It is time to shampoo your hair and what are you doing? You don't need to use half a bottle of shampoo to end up with clean hair, trust me. This is another hair wash mistake which is using too much shampoo. In reality, you only need one quarter size of shampoo to deep clean your scalp and this applies to anyone, male or female. So squeeze the shampoo in your palm, rub your hands a little bit in this way and distribute the shampoo directly on your scalp. However, there is an exception. If you use a lot of products on your hair during the week, an extra cleanse using the same amount of shampoo will help you to remove the film and the buildup. The next common hair wash mistake that literally ruins your hair is shampooing your entire hair. Just keep this simple rule in mind. Shampoo is only meant for your scalp. So the right technique to shampoo your hair is simple. You're gonna use your fingertips to scrub your scalp using a side-to-side -side motion like this. Please avoid the hair washing mistake of scrubbing your scalp with your nails, rubbing your ends to clean them, or cleansing your scalp vigorously. All these things tangles your hair and unfortunately can rough the cuticles which can cause you to lose more hair than usual. Also, if you feel like shampooing with your fingertips is not giving you the deep cleaning feeling, use a scalp exfoliator which you can use a gentle pressure and still get that nice deep scrubbing on your scalp that some of us really like. Next hair wash mistake is shampooing your hair in less than a minute. If this is what you do, you need to stop doing this from now on, believe it or not there isn't a specific time for cleansing the scalp properly, which is three minutes. Spending less time on scrubbing your scalp will not give your shampoo the enough time to fully remove sebum, dirt, and buildup. Now, it is time to rinse off the shampoo throughout leave from your hair with 
warm water. I wanted to point out why washing your hands is a hair wash mistake. As you can see, while the water is going through my hair, the shampoo eventually get to the ends as it rinses down. So it will end up cleaning these parts of your hair in a more gentle way since we're not scrubbing them or teasing them. And the other hair wash mistake in here is doing a fast water rinse. According to experts, it is necessary to spend at least a whole minute rinsing your hair of shampoo. Since it is shampoo which can cause buildup on your hair afterwards if it's not rinsed properly. At this point, we're done with shampoo, so it is time for conditioner and the next hair washing mistake that will ruin your hair is to roll your hair to squeeze the water out. Very common habit, extremely damaging to wet hair, so the proper technique to remove excess water is to simply squeeze very gently like this to drain the water from your hair. I repeat this motion one more time and then hair is ready for conditioner. Remember, the less water is on your hair, the more product your strands will end up absorbing, which is what we want to accomplish with conditioners. Now, in terms of how much conditioner you should to use on your hair it all depends on your hair texture and length so if you have thick hair for example you might need a little bit more conditioner than someone like me with thin hair the proper technique that we're gonna use to spread the conditioner is very simple remember shampoo belongs to the scalp and conditioner to the hair so don't make the hair wash mistakes of applying conditioner on your scalp or twisting your hair in this way to apply the conditioner the trick in here here is to massage the product gently from mid length to ends using the palm of your hands or your fingers in this way. Taking your time to massage your conditioner or hair masks into your hair allows the ingredients to actually bond with your cuticles so at the end these treatments will perform better in hydrating your hair. By the way, if you follow up with a deep conditioning hair mask or a protein treatment, fully recommended to towel dry your hair a little bit with an old teacher or a microfiber towel instead of draining your hair with your hands to maximize the absorption. Now, rinsing the conditioner right away is another hair wash mistake. You want to let it sit on your hair for a little bit so that it has time to actually absorb into your hair. So expert says that the minimum time to leave it on your hair is 10 minutes. However, I will suggest you to check the instructions of your conditioner or hair mask to see what's the exact time your product specifically recommends. Make sure to cover your hair with a shower cap, which I think is the best option, but if you don't don't have one at least clip your hair with one of these and now just wait when I have to wait for the conditioner I can use this 10 minutes to clean my body shave and do the rest of the things that I need to do it's been 10 minutes so it is time to finally rinse off the conditioner or hair mask and here's something that might be a hair wash mistake or maybe not you can wash the conditioner with warm water if you want to but in my experience at least my hair looks fuller shinier and lasts longer between washes so it gets less oily when I do this last step with cold water this is what I do I stand under the shower string for 10 seconds to allow the cold water to rinse the product a little bit and that's it now that your hair is completely clean we're gonna remove the excess water one more time using a gentle squeeze Next hair wash mistake is so common, which is using your regular towel to dry your hair. The material of your towel is too rough for your hair, and don't even get me started if you do these things with your towel. The best way to towel dry your hair is with a microfiber towel or an old t-shirt. And what you want to do is to gently press with both of your hands in this way a few times to get as much as water as possible. And if you have curly, wavy, hair you want to scrunch 
Once you get out of the shower, don't make the hair wash mistake of waiting until your hair gets dry to apply your oils. It is very important to follow up right away with at least a hair oil to seal your cuticles. If you have a leave-in conditioner, apply this one first and last, 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 you apply your natural oil or a hair serum of your preference. Two of my favorite oils to use after shower is argan oil, jojoba oil or grapeseed oil. They are fantastic super light after this cover your hair with a microfiber towel until your hair gets dry the less you wash your hair the less water damage you're gonna cause on your hair so in my opinion washing the hair every seven days is the best however I'm super aware that not everybody can do this so I think a healthy range to wash your hair is in between three to four days that would be ideal only a matter of time that your hair is gonna get better the more you implement these hair tips in your hair wash routine and the less you do those hair wash mistakes so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here thank you so much for watching i hope i'll get to see you in the next video pura vida